Hello and welcome to the video. This is showing you how to update your Radio Master TX16S to full open TX. Now I've been running mine on the nightly builds and it looks like it's finally released. So you'll need the latest version of Companion on your computer, version 2.3.9. I'll put a link in the description where you can download this. And what you need to do is to plug in your radio into the computer, hold the two trim tabs, T4 and T1, into the center position and power it on, and then plug in your USB cable using the USB port at the top. Once it does, you will be able to see things like this. And now this is actually the SD card inside the radio. Now, what I would recommend is before you get too carried away with everything, is I would just make a copy and back up everything. So we're going to copy that. I've just made a folder on my desktop and we're just going to paste all of those files into this new area because what we need to do is make sure that we have a full backup of everything because in here I actually have uh, some custom images and my drag, I have a custom splash screen, all kinds of things that I don't want to lose because we will need to upgrade the SD card and change the contents of it and potentially overwrite some of this stuff. So if we just back it up, then we're guaranteed we won't lose anything. Now, while that's backing up, there are some other things that we can do as well. So here in Companion, the first thing we're going to need to do is to create a profile for this radio. Now, because it's officially supported, it's going to be in the list. So we need to go into settings, radio profile, add radio profile and then we can choose it. Let's give it a name that I'll remember. Radio Master TX16S. And then we're gonna pick the radio type. There's all the Free Sky stuff. There's the jumper stuff. Uh, and there is the Radio Master. How cool is that? So just make sure that the mode is right. Um, rudder, elevate throttle, default channel order, I tend to have T-A-E-R, but you can have whatever you want. Here's all the different settings that you can have now. If you hover over each of them, it'll tell you which one it is. So the channel values are displayed in the US, gives you a choice whether or not you want to have no telemetry at the field, lets you, um, or turns um, on telemetry all the time. You can, you've got all of these. Now, we're gonna enable Lua, we don't want no, we haven't got the internal GPS, although it is supported. Uh, that might be something we do later on. You know what? No, let's keep that out. We're not going to turn on Bluetooth. I'm not using the R9M, so we'll keep all of that stuff. So we'll say, OK. So now at the top, we have Radio Master TX16S, which is the radio that we're interested in. We can kind of crack on. Now, most of the stuff out on here on the left is kind of grayed out. Um, and that's because we haven't downloaded the firmware for the radio yet. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to back up just like we're doing at the moment where we're actually copying all the SD card somewhere nice and safe. We're also going to copy the models and settings from the radio into somewhere else. So this is just the stuff that I've got at the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to say file, save as, let's stick it onto the desktop. We'll call it something like radio backup version I'd also put a date of whenever you're doing it just so you can find it again and say save there we go next thing we're going to do is we'll uh, read the firmware from the radio and we'll also put that somewhere safe as well and then if we do something that we don't like we can always get back and again put your date on and then we're safe so that's reading all the firmware from the memory on the radio and sticking it somewhere nice and safe. So we've backed everything up. Now we can't do anything here yet because we're kind of waiting for that. Now, next thing we can do is download and we can check for updates. And it says firmware does not seem to have been downloaded. Is available do you want to download it now we're going to say yes again we shall stick it in here 
and say save. There it is. We're also going to download the SD card contents. That's the new stuff that will need to go on the SD card. Now that's going to send us onto this web page. I'll put this link in the description as well so that we can find that because uh, you can actually just navigate to it without this messing about. But here are all the different versions. I would go for the latest and greatest, which looks like that one. So again, we shall save that in here. So while that is all doing, we can then get ready to write the stuff to the radio. So we'll say, okay. So let's write the radio firmware. So we're gonna click on that. It's gonna ask us where we want to load it from and it's already found it. We've got all the different version numbers and we're gonna click right to TX and we'll say close. Excellent. Now, the last thing we need to do is we need to copy the SD card contents over as well. So again, we're gonna find that drive that has all of the files on. There they all are. We're going to open up the zip file that we downloaded. We're going to copy that and paste it into this folder. So when everything is copied to the SD card, then you can unplug it from the computer or go back to the normal menu and just select exit. And then it should boot into OMTX. Now there'll be a couple of warnings the first time out. It'll have to migrate the data and then it will make you go through the calibration routine again because the radio data that's on the SD card isn't there anymore. And it's a good idea to go through the calibration anyway. Just take your time, follow the on-screen process prompts. However, when you finish the calibration, you will notice that your models have disappeared. But don't worry, we did back them up. So again, hold the buttons into the middle position and power it up and plug it back into the computer. And here back in Companion, we can have a go at restoring everything. Now again, we are still making sure we're on the right radio profile. So we've got all these different ones, but we're going to stay on the Radio Master T16. And we're going to have a go at restoring all the models. So if you remember last time we read the models and settings from the radio and now we did it, there's nothing there. However, if we go and uh, find in all of the backups, uh, if we look for the oh, TX settings and drag that in, there we go there are all of the stuff that was on it. So now we've got that on there, we can drag them all across. So um, one of the cool things you can do is you can actually group models. That's what I've been doing on this new radio. So we've got the test stuff and then we're gonna fix wings and others as well. So we could actually right click, say add a category, um, we'll call it test bench. There we go, test bench. And what we're going to do is we can drag each of these across into there. We'll make a new category. We'll call it fixed wing. Uh, this is really helpful when you have loads of different models. There we go. And we'll add new category. multi rotor I'll work there wasn't anything in that we will uh, delete that one category there we go so now we look kind of similar to how we did before what we're going to do is get rid of the old backup this is what the current contents kind of look like we are going to write them to the radio so write models and settings to radio There we go. And now when we unplug it, we should see that all our settings are there. The only last things to do are just to reapply any last tweaks to the SD card. So those things like the Amber voice pack, uh, the custom graphics and setups that you had for your models too.
Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.